Hello, I'm gonna read the story, The Great Sneaker Hunt. What a great party at the play center this has been. Thanks for inviting me. Happy birthday. The cubby where I left my sneakers is empty. Uh-oh, says the attendant. What color are they? They're blue and orange, I tell her. My favorite colors. We have a lot of blue and orange sneakers today, she says. I bet someone took them by mistake. She looks around the play center. Could that be them by the tumbling mats? Those could be my sneakers, but it's hard to tell from here. The great sneaker hunt is on. It looks like the quickest way to the tumbling mats is to cross the trampoline. So it's time to do some cartwheels. One, two, three. Gee, these aren't my sneakers. Maybe I can spot my missing sneakers if I bounce high enough. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Are those my sneakers on top of the foam pit? If so, that's a silly place for them to be. Hey, where'd those sneaky sneakers go? They were on top of the foam pit just a minute ago. Ha ha, I know what must have happened. I bet my sneakers fell down into the pile when the blocks moved. You know what I have to do, right? I have to dive in and look for my sneakers. Here I go. Got them. Wait, these aren't my sneakers. Have you seen a pair of orange and blue sneakers by any chance? I ask. I think we saw a pair like that over by the slide a little while ago, they say. What better way to zoom over to the slide than by scooter? Whee! I don't see my sneakers anywhere. I'm going to climb the stairs and take a really good look around. There's nothing out there that looks like my sneakers. You know what the fastest way down is, right? Whoa, this is fun. Hi again, I say to the attendant. Look what I've got, she says. My sneakers, I shout. Yes, someone did take your sneakers by mistake and they just returned them, she says, smiling. Hooray, I finally got my sneakers where they belong on my feet. Now they can walk home with me. The end. Thank you.